nightmares in my head I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear that my mind fills Hey everyone, how's it going? I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to come watch my video and review of the Dynamic Target Solutions GoPro PVS-14 mount. And here it is in all its glory. Um, so, again, thank you. I'm not going to take too much of your time. I know how it's valuable to everyone these days. So, here we go. All right, full disclosure, I paid my own money for this device. Um, it was not handpicked. I was not paid to review it, anything like that. So um, they don't know me from Adam down there at Dynamic Target Solutions. So this is what you get. So um, packaging, the packaging when it arrived at my address was great. Um, nothing negative to really say about it. Um, it arrived in a sturdy box. It was well bubble wrapped. Um, came with a couple of these business cards, which have a little Easter egg in them. We'll get to that here in a second. But yeah, the build quality, the actual device itself is really good. I'm really impressed. Um, it looks to me like they use a PLA, uh, and I, I'm not a 3D printer, but I know a little bit about it. It looks like a, it's a PLA um, type resin. It seems really sturdy, really strong. Um, comes with all the hardware. Uh, and it comes with this lanyard and at first I was like uh, mm, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use this lanyard for uh, but last night while uh, shooting another review uh, for a weapon light stay tuned for that um, when I had to do like a scene reset or, or uh, shoot something different and I wasn't actually using the device to, to shoot video the lanyard came in perfect um, put it around my neck and all that good stuff like so and it's awesome so let's get into mounting. So what I like to do is I like to take my PVS-14 and start with that first. Um, the other thing I noticed right away is I've messed with a couple of other mounts and one thing that kind of can happen, so as you can kind of see, I'm running a, um, a purple or some people call it a white filter, but it is the color purple for a green phosphorus tube. This kind of tones down the green a little bit, makes a little a little bit more uh, not so green monstery. Uh, those of you who have night vision, you know exactly what I'm talking about uh, or what I'm talking about, excuse me. Um, so yeah, the cool thing is I've had this in another mount and I couldn't run my filter and I like running my filter. So that was kind of discouraging. This unit here, as we can see, let me just flop it on in there and it fits my filter Perfectly. I'm really happy about that. So we take the PVS-14 in the mount and we get it all lined up. We take the screw here. And we start running this screw down. If I can get it started here. There we go. And they also, the screw is nice because it included this kind of little ring on it, which is nice. Kind of helps you get a little bit of a better handle on it as you're screwing it down. All right, so we got that nice and tight in there. Um, there is another screw here on top. Inside of here, there's a fork and it kind of helps lock it in place. So we go ahead and tighten that just a little bit, not too much. Yeah, that looks good. Then we take our GoPro. I'm running the GoPro Hero 11 Black. Um, so far, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it does have some pretty good low light performance, which I mean, duh, kind of the point. So that's why I decided to upgrade from my eight to the 11. So it just slides in there and then flops into the hole, which is a perfect fit. This is the only piece it doesn't come with. This is your GoPro uh, mounting screw. Then you just take your GoPro mounting screw and you start screwing that in there. It's kind of a long screw, so bear with me. All right, that is nice and tight. Um, I feel 100% secure that this is not gonna break. It's not gonna come apart. Um, it's a really sturdy unit. I really like it. It's an absolute unit, some would say. The other cool thing is they included a tripod stud in the bottom. And I just so happen to have my handy dandy DJI tripod just to show you. We just helicopter that sucker in there. And there you have it. 
pretty cool. I really enjoy it. I enjoy using it so far. Um, this is going to be my main workhorse um, until something better comes along, but I doubt that's going to happen. So that when when I get into you know showing more night vision settings and and uh, night vision video, this is the setup I'm going to be using. So once again, I want to give a shout out to Dynamic Target Solutions, www.dynamictargetsolutions.com, for uh, having a great product available to the public. Pretty awesome. Now for the Easter egg. A lot of a lot of you see this business card, right? It's just a business card, but it's not. The cool part that they did is they put GoPro settings for almost every GoPro. Let's see here, uh, Hero Nine and Ten, Hero Eleven. That's pretty much the only ones they recommend is the uh, 9, 10, 11. Uh, visit their website for other models and other fitment, but they included all of the night settings um, that they say are, are good. And I can agree, those are really good. So again, I wanna thank you guys and taking your time to hang out with me and go over some of this setup. I uh, look forward to talking to you guys and reviewing some more gear in the future. As always, stay tuned. I uh, would really appreciate a sub and a like or whatever the, the YouTube calls it. Because uh, remember, guys, we got to pay our penance to the YouTube algorithm gods. All right, thanks for stopping Thoughts by. Thoughts build up until I can hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear Sometimes it could be a little tough I just